Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... I don't really remember what we were doing last time, to be perfectly honest. I suddenly realize that as I'm doing this intro. Let's find out. Oh, that's right, we found the impossible dungeon and met Jimmy Luna. What a tool! We got quite a number of comments about that guy, let me tell you. I particularly liked, uh, here it is. Yes, he gave the Carney Code's first rule, which was, uh, all sales are final, no refunds are possible. Shout out to Clunk279, who asks, I wonder if the Carney Code is anything like the Ferengi rules of, rec of acquisition. Sorry, not requisition. Nothing is ever, uh, rec- Nothing is ever asked for in Ferengi society. Everything is acquired. Oh no! I talked to this child and all the balloons exploded! Ah, oh, my balloons! Who pops a kid's balloon? I, I, I just said A! I just said A! What the fuck, nobody? We had a deal! I've just realized there's butter and popcorn all over the ground. Oh no. But, uh, yes, uh, I don't know about all of the, uh, the Carney Code, or the rules of acquisition for that matter, but I looked it up, and rule number one is more or less the same. The exact wording in Star Trek is, once you have their money, you never give it back. This is a bit of a strange, uh, time. I was, I was planning to open this episode with the, uh, the DLC stuff. But, uh, I guess I could go north of the lake. There was some confusion. around me. That's awesome. Come on! Need to keep it rolling so that I can get that quest. Oh, I keep taking damage, though. Oh, I did it! That was it right there. Boo 3, use Boo 5 times without losing the aura. Let's promote the ghost from D to C. No more wooden metal for you. Now it's copper. Or I guess it's probably uh, bronze, because, you know, C, third place. No new abilities, but hey, congratulations all the same. And two new quests! Custom 1, Follow the Light. Break enemy wards with sharp or light damage as the ghost. I guess that's a head into the light Carol Ann reference. Uh, custom 1, Brave Little Ghoster. God damn it. Kill baddies while Guard's Bravado is active. Uh, oh! Oh, I'm at full health, because I leveled up! Okay, I see. Well, in that case, let's just fucking get rid of these guys. Ooh, double kill. One day I'll be strong enough to stop one of those guys dead in their tracks. Today is not that day. I hesitated when I got to the store page for the DLC. Because I saw that uh, Steam had rated it as mixed, because only 56% or, uh, only yeah, 56 of the reviews were positive. I did not love that number. And, uh... I had some concerns about the actual things people had troubles with. The thing that bothered me the most was uh, the sentiment that the challenges in the DLC are, re are set for endgame, like calibrated for endgame, but the rewards are not. Like, I specifically heard that, uh... Well, they make it very mu much more puzzly than the dungeons in the main game. From what I understand, it was claimed in one of the reviews, anyway, that 
You need an under uh, a thorough understanding of basically all the forms and basically all the abilities and how they interact together. It's very puzzling. Oh yes, and and quote even then it requires a level of skill and uh, performance uh, above that of the base game. So the uh, one of the uh, issues there was. You know, you unlock uh, two new classes with the uh, classes, uh, forms with that DLC. The mechanic and the killer bee. And apparently they're quite fun. The issue is that, you know, because they're part of this DLC, which is really, really difficult, that by the time you get all the forms and can get that, there's no game left to use them on. And that sucks. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I feel about all that. And again, that might just be, like, some loud, uh, butthurt guy that wasn't necessarily reflective of the truth of the game. So, I, at the moment, I walked away, but, you know, ponderings. Well, that clearly goes somewhere important. No, it's this button. Ah, that's how I get into the jungle up here. I kind of want to go after this because of the dino thing. I know I can get that, but... Make it past floor six, man. That's only halfway. Oh, fuck it. I'll look in the corner then. Turtle Bay. Oh, holy shit. That's a big ass turtle over there. He's got a tree growing out of his back and a flower growing off of his head. Sup? If you're looking for Stonefish Village, you've taken a wrong turn. But while you're here, I've got a situation on my hands. All of my mates' eggs are due. They could float down the river at any moment. Will you help a poor tortoise fertilize his mate's eggs? Uh, yes? You will? Great! Keep your shell on. I'll do the actual fertilizing in private. What I need you to do is keep out the expired red-shelled eggs by destroying them. What's important is that you let as many green-shelled eggs through as possible. You learn one point for each green egg that finds its way to me. I'll have to throw two green eggs away for every one egg you let through. And 180 green eggs should be enough to keep my mates off my shell for a while. Uh, don't tell them I said that. Oh look, I can see my mates now! Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six turtles are just <laughs> uh, depositing rows of uh, eggs. There's not even an animation for that. They're just floating out the back of the model. I should not be the ghost for this. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'll just change to uh, fucking turtle, I guess. Because it's the most appropriate one, and I'll deal with the other ones later. No! Oh, cool. I just realized how big the splash attack is, too. Alright, fuck it. Uh, Mermaid, you're up. No, oh, I hit the... This is difficult. Oh! There we go. Oh, that's a lot of red ones. Oh, God, no! It has to be as the turtle, right? No. Ah, can I just... I'm just gonna quit and load again, because goddamn. Oh, I'm back here. Wait a minute, does that mean... I didn't pop that kid's balloons yet! I can just fuck off and not talk to him! Why did I think that would work? <laughs> Goofy ass. Okay, so maybe I won't be doing the turtle quest just yet. That was very confusing. Ah! Oh, wrong button, that's why. Ah, uh, silly. Oh, 
Oh, this turtle is fast in the water. You can't get a bead on me, can you? Well, you can if I walk right up to you before you fire, like a dumbass. Look how fucking satisfied this turtle looks over there. I'm gonna note even the, uh, the, the female turtles there were, like, ten times big? No, maybe five times bigger than this one? This is a small turtle. Ha! Ah! Hit more baddies with water spray. Water spray to redeem! Nice. Hit, okay, water spray three. Hit even more baddies with water spray. Do I have uh, the bodybuilder ability on me? No. Yes. But uh, I can't put another passive on, so... Was it bravado I needed? No, that was for the ghost. Brave little ghoster. Uh, impact damage, water spray, hell shell, sharp or dark. Well, none of these apply to that, so I'll just. Uh... Oh fuck! I don't know. Fleet-footed. It's a turtle, right? That makes sense to me. Let's get rid of consume. Just for fucking starters. Uh. I guess I do need dark on there. That is an attack. Why do you think that's right? You know what I'm going to do, though? No, no, no. I'm starting to mess with things. What's up? I like to imagine that the turtle shell burst through that guy's chest and out his back. Again, how old that guy is, it is entirely possible that the turtle this uh, form is based on was uh, inspired by that guy. Look how fast the turtle's going now! What's that sound? No, not controls. No! No, don't quit. Music volume zero. Oh, I love that sound effect. Is that really what it sounds like when turtles walk around? Huh. I had no idea. <laughs> Gilded River. Hmm. Well, so far I seem to be in the thick-ass jungle. I don't even see any water, so... Slap some of these jungle plants to get my mana back up. More sacrifice will be uh, remembered. Hey! Come on, just brush through the plants, god damn you. Do you need a machete? Because I don't actually have guard out right now, but whatever. Mostly animals and bodybuilder and zombie. Hello? Well, for. F There's a toucan here. You know, for the sake of people who uh, maybe don't notice it or can't see it. It's just hopping around like the cats in that one area, or the, 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 the peacocks, or the cat skeletons in the Shadowlands, and I totally thought that this was the toucan from the toucan wizard, and that he wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Should've known they never changed the sprites. He would've brought the human with him. That's a uh, spike door here, but... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Buffing guy. Shit, what are his quests? Uh, stun. Working on it. Shot pot. Ranged attacks. Flexed. Oh, yeah. Just flex. So. Flex! Popeye over here. The way the fists are flying there. Gigi, wow. Hmm, she looks kind of like Amy from Futurama in a weird way. Maybe it's the, uh, the way the hair sticks out in front of the hat. I was reminded of something. I like the pickaxe, though. Who goes there? 
I've never seen that happen before. I turned back into nobody in the cutscene. It's a salamander baby or something. Oh, she's riding a tiger. Awesome! You cannot come into Stonefish Village, salamander baby. You'll let the demons in. Oh, wait. You killed the demons. Lower the gates! Let them in before a second wave strikes. Oh, she walked in a circle around me and then said, They're clean, GG. Also, there's a river behind them that is the exact color of urine. I didn't realize that's what they meant by gilded. I figured it would mean the plants around the edges. Wait, no, it's a wizard! Explain yourself, wizard, before I feed you to my tiger. I can, I'm, can, I can say I'm trying to defeat the calamity or don't make me hurt your tiger. I'm trying to defeat the calamity. I don't understand wizards or scientists, but I do understand guts. We've been trying to hold it together, fending the demons off. But my people are falling ill with a fungus sickness. Oh boy. Yeah, I can see it on the buildings now. And we've discovered a secret corporation. Or maybe that is just corp. There's no dot there. The secret corp leeching our resources. You can't trust anybody! I should just throw you back out to the demons. Did you say Secret Corp, or I'm looking for gem shards? Um... Did you say Secret Corp? Secret Corp houses a gem shard. You want to go there? Are you crazy? It's riddled with monsters! I think she would have said the same thing no matter what I picked there. Besides, it was sealed shut after the head scientist ran away with a bunch of our crystals. You won't be able to get into the Secret Corp without the head scientist's access code. I heard he was last seen heading towards the Golden Temple. Batty, status, immunity, and light wards. I don't love that. GG, the secret corp might have a cure for the fungus sickness. I doubt it, and I'll believe it when I see it. But let the wizard try. It's your funeral. Oh, and I'm back to bodybuilder. That was weird. Never seen it do that in a cutscene before. Gigi is such a sweetheart. She's just under a lot of pressure. Fungus is growing on me! They say the goo takes over and eats your brain and your eyes. I'm rather fond of those, though some people don't use their brains much anyway. Oh, the well is full of fungus. Great. It's the pink and purple that bother me the most, and I don't know why. All this time I thought I was mining crystals, but who was mining who? Ooh, a store guy, and with new stuff, I see. My friend, what will it be today? Shirt, pants, eyeballs? We got mana shield passive. Damage received is dealt to your mana before your health. 50% less damage received is mana. Uh, we got quick cooldown. Cooldowns are reduced by 0.5 seconds. This won't reduce a cooldown below one second. And more star charges. They're up to 10. Ooh, and an infinite quest. Move around. Oh, wow. Just walking around the screen? Are you fucking kidding me? I think that might make uh, over-leveling for the, uh, the dungeons a very real possibility. Stop by any time. Do I get it? Do I not get it? The infinite ones are going off pretty regularly as it is. I'm about to get the one for breaking wards. I'm very close for killing baddies again. Weren't you from Octavia's lab? Didn't you help me with the fish problem? You're that wizard who's trying to stop the Calamity, aren't you? Everything is falling apart here. First the corpse head scientist ran away, then villagers started getting sick. I'm so close to completing my, wi my life's work. I worry I don't have a lot of time. Please, wizard, hear me out. Yes. Excellent. Now to introduce myself. I am the inventor of the Dolfetta Stone. It was, the words were wavy. It was fun. 
You haven't heard of it? Well, you will when it's finished. With it, I can understand any dolphin with 100% accuracy. Well, almost any dolphin. Observe this annoyingly chatty specimen. I believe that's meant to be profanity, because it's a dollar sign, a percent sign, a number sign, uh, whatever you call the thing that's on shift six, and, uh, an at sign. Yeah, there's more profanity in a different order. Do you hear those strange symbols? The Dolphetta Stone can't make fins or tails of them. I believe this dolphin is the key to unlocking the secret knowledge of dolphin kind! Exciting, yes, and I'm giving you the opportunity to be a part of it. Um, just a small part, so don't expect to be credited. Take this! I'm lending you the Dolphetta Stone. On it is a recording of this chatty specimen's untranslated vocalizations. Play the recording back to five other dolphins in the jungle area, record their responses, and then bring the Dolphetta Stone back to me. The responses you collect will complete the stone, and allow us to understand what this one is trying to say! Now please hurry, and good luck. Or as the dolphins say, and then a whole line of E's in alternating lowercase and uppercase. Splash. This house is blocked off with items I can slap. Like, hmm. There's nothing in here except a mattress, a, what appears to be a book I can't read, a dirt floor, and a broken chunk of glass for a mirror. I was expecting someone to yell at me for smashing that pot, to be perfectly frank. Thought we had a fun way to end the video. I know you, you're in the Thieves Guild. Psst, new member. It's me, One Eye, from the Thieves Guild. The sparkling crystals around here would look mighty fine in the Guild's new daggers. What do you think the exchange rate is from BTC to crystals? Is that Bitcoin? Is that what that is? I've seen weirdos on the internet use that phrase, and I never bothered to look it up. Oh, he didn't give me a quest. He just... Huh. Well, there's another house here, but I can't get to it. Yeah, they put walls all around the edges, even on the, uh... the water sides. I thought I would have to go back and talk to the dolphin I found near the starting zone, like right near the start of the game, but... Missed! What the hell was that? Looked like that one bug despawned. Oh, they can teleport! Great! Ah, there's so many! And Hell Shell is not the best ability to use. On the other hand, I completed the other quest by accident. Turtle Power. Hit baddies at impact damage using Hell Shell and Bodybuilder's Strongman. Level up! Alright, then that's a pretty good note to end on. Custom 2, Green Blur. Hit baddies at Horses Gallop as the Turtle. Dolphetta Stone, one of two. Can we the Dolphetta Stone? Uh, by recording the responses to five dolphins in the jungle. Corporate, corporate espionage. Find the lead corporate scientist and get his secret corp gate. His secret corp gate code. Jeez. Oh, and look at that. Kill baddies, just like that.
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. We talk to this old woman, open this door, and find out what's inside this house over here. I couldn't get into him there to go. Until then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!